Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Uh, this game uh, is called Sunless Sea. Uh, it's a game that was really released back all the way back in 2015. So it's it's been a while. Uh, this game is free currently as I'm speaking on Epic Games. It might not be anymore because uh, I don't know when this video is going out. But, uh, you know, I wanted to make a video and I, uh, Deanna recommended this game. So I, I was like, you know what, why not? Let's just jump into this game and just see what it is. Uh, it's kind of like a horror-esque kind of game, sort of a survival game, I guess, sort of. Uh, it's kind of interesting and I don't really know that much about it. So we're kind of going in blind and... Uh, it's kind of an older game too, so that's kind of interesting, but uh, some of you might be wondering as well, uh, and I wanted to I wanted to bring this up uh, because maybe some of you guys have some questions about what's going on with the universe sim and such, uh, and I made this, I made a, uh, I made a post on my Discord, uh, which I know not all of you are on or anything like that. But I made a post on my Discord that was basically just talking about how uh, the universe sim currently, uh, there's not enough new content in the game. So I've just kind of been burnt out of the game. And I've already played, uh, you know, like I played a good portion of it on a stream uh, for Critivo on Steam. And, you know, after that stream, I just kind of already felt burnt out, uh, mainly because it's you know, there's not that much new content. Uh, like, there's a lot of stuff that's cool, uh, like the Vortex and such, but it it's just the same thing over and over again. And I I think I've, I'm coming close to about 200 videos on the Universe Sim, and with every single season kind of feeling like the last one, it's, uh, it's not that enjoyable. Uh, and it's kind of, it feels like it's lacking in the creativity that I kind of want in my videos. And... I kind of want to try to move away from it. I've been streaming a ton on Twitch, so if you guys are just looking for more from me and not so much of the universe sim, uh, I strongly recommend going to check out my Twitch channel. And uh, I'm still going to be posting on YouTube. Uh, you know, like I'm saying, like there's kind of there's certain games that work really well on Twitch, and there's certain games that just do not work that well on on YouTube. And a lot of those games I've kind of been playing on YouTube. Uh, I mean, sorry, on Twitch. Uh, so a lot of those games I've been playing on Twitch. Uh, so that's like Dyson Sphere Program uh, and some Dead by Daylight. Uh, sometimes Apex. Sometimes, uh, you know, it's really whatever I'm feeling, kind of. Uh, once I actually, you know, get my life sorted out right now, I'm actually going to get a schedule set up on Twitch. So that way you guys can actually know what to expect each day and stuff like that. Uh, and as far as YouTube goes, I'm trying to see if I want to do uh, Twitch clips or just, uh, you know, like original videos and not Twitch clips. Uh, and so this is kind of a video that is not Twitch clips. Uh, and I'm just trying to figure out, you know, I'm trying to reassess everything as far as uh, online content goes uh, for, uh, you know, my brand, I guess, sort of. Uh, so, I, and also, I, I should also note as well, the original concept for my YouTube channel wasn't about the universe sim. If you go all the way back to the original videos of my channel, you'll see that it was basically a whole bunch of games that I just found an interest in. And, uh, you know, when the Universe Sim really picked up steam and, you know, like one of my first videos of the Universe Sim getting 300 views, and that was major for like just a 24 subscriber channel. I was like, whoa, OK, maybe I need to throw more more of my energy into the Universe Sim. And that did pay off pretty substantially. But now it's kind of fading because there's not that much content to the Universe Sim. And that's mainly one of the reasons why a lot of YouTubers haven't covered the game. So, uh, for those of you that are looking forward to more U uh, Universe Sim content, uh, don't worry, it's going to be coming back. It's just going to be a little bit. Um, I'm going to continue doing some patch notes videos for the Universe Sim and uh, maybe some gameplay, but that 
don't count on that. <laughs> okay, uh, so anyway, uh, let's just jump into Sunless Sea and see what this game is about, because I have absolutely no clue. And also, uh, post any sort of game recommendations you guys have as well, uh, games that you guys are currently playing and such. Um, now, as far as Valheim goes, I know that a couple of people are want wanting Valheim and stuff like that. Valheim is great. Fantastic game. Uh, there's just so much stuff that is not fun to watch. And that's maybe one reason why I'm not going to make videos of it. Uh, there would just be too much content to uh, skip uh, for a YouTube video. And uh, if you're interested in watching Valheim and stuff like that, I am I do play it occasionally on my streams and you can check out some streams there too uh, that I've already been, you know, went live and such. So uh, yeah, don't recommend that, I guess. Uh, yeah, and as far as other things go, uh, I'm kind of an open book right now. Uh, there's a couple of other games that I've been meaning to look into getting as well, and I think uh, they might be see being seen on the channel soon. I know it's been a really long time, so uh, welcome back if you guys uh, took a break from my channel, and uh, thanks, thanks for checking out another video. Alright, let's, let's actually just get into this game now. Uh, start a new game. Are you sure? Yes. I've not launched this yet. I don't think I can load a game. The music's pretty good, though. I'm liking it. Okay. Uh, Captain's Making. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria... Uh, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. It was dreadful inconvenient for everyone, but it opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the un Unterzi? Unterzi? Unterzi. Interesting. Choose a past. Decide who you were and what you want to be. Alright. Choose your past. Decide who you were and what you want to be. You know lodge in a room above the blind hel helmsman. Continue. Ah, okay. Now you're a captain. Now, no, oh man. Now you're a captain. Now you belong to the Unterzee. But who were you before? The street urchin? Uh, your urchin gang cast you out when you grew too tall. You, you took to see rather than graduate to larger crimes. At last, a big score was enough to buy a ship. A poet, a veteran of the campaign of 68, uh, an ordained priest, a natural philosopher. Your peculiar theories on time, blood, and starlight brought you down to the neath, the cavern where London lies. And now they take you out to Z. Uh, let's go with natural philosopher. I, this will this will give you a bonus to mirrors, the skill of detection and perception. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Let, let, you know what? Let's go natural philosopher. Okay. Um. Your peculiar theory is on time. Oh wait, that's already something I've basically read. Your acquaintance, the plausible surgeon, will serve as a ship's doctor until you find someone better. Talk to him to find out wh why he went to Z. You are a natural philosopher, now you're a Z captain. You're a stranger, quality has gone, welcome to the world. You've gained 20 times echo. Okay, 25 mirrors. One plausible surgeon. Someone is looking for passage. Okay, continue. What does win winning mean to you? Your father's bones. Your father was lost at Z. You never knew him, but you've often dreamed of him. Find and return his remains to London for a decent burial. Fulfillment, wealth, a private kingdom. Oh, this is locked. You know what? Uh, a lot of things that I do are money-driven, so let's go wealth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> jeez. All right, beyond the dreams, the Entrezy is full of riches, death, and darkness, too, but it's worth the gamble. 
To win, gather a substan substantial retirement fund, upgrade your lodging to a mansion, and retire. Okay. All right, let's continue. Last scrap of paperwork. Uh, Captain, Captain, an irregular... Uh, an irregular Terry with the harbor master's office they wish to know what term of address do you prefer sure this will determine what people call you cap wait what this will determine what people call your captain but your captain's gender is up to you ah oh, okay i see i see uh citizen a term of address popular amongst those of uh, okay interesting my lord my lady captain sir madam you know what, let's go citizen. Um, citizen, perhaps you're some sort of rabble rousing enthusiast, huh? And it occurs your address as quality is now citizen. Who are you? Continue. Okay. Whoa. What? Okay. These are some interesting characters. Ah. Ah, mm. oh, yes, I'm a big brain. Yes. Uh, blue berry. All right, there we go. Fall in London. Fall in London, deep, dark, and ma marvelous. All voyages start here, and this is where successful voyages end. Uh, London, uh, advice for captains. You're lodging a passenger. Passenger, someone in the docks wants to board your ship. Agree to carry the unsettled salvager to Venderbite. She visits Wolfstock every day in Z-stained rags, begging for passage. No ca captain will look her in the eye. Uh, that's a little peculiar. Uh, let's, you know what, let's just go. Yeah. Agree to carry the unsettled salvager to Venderbite. She visits Wolfstock. Okay, yeah, yeah. Welcome aboard. She embraces you. I'd kiss you, citizen. But my beloved is prone to jealousy. We were parted, but the ancient captains at Vanderbite will know where she is. Bound for Vanderbite. Wait. Oh yeah. Okay. This is a female. Okay. What? Wait. What? We were parted, but the ancient captains at Vanderbite will know where she is. Who's she? What? Prone to jealousy. We were parted. That's weird. Okay. I'm confused. Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, bound for vendor, right? Uh, welcome. Okay, continue. Okay, fall in London. Uh, okay, I guess... Whoa, what? Adopt a Blamigan Galvin, Galvander. Uh, atop a splintered crate, clicking and whistling at captains as they come near. I, I think I will pass. Okay, perhaps not. Uh, advice for captains your lodgings okay can we just can we go <laughs> uh shops uh so wait a moment uh do, do, okay there's a lot of stuff here do we need to fuel up uh let's go here hold uh deck okay life damage hull damage crew damage one crew loss each hit if opponent is below 50% hull, warm up time, stagger amount, deck, auxiliary engines, weapon slots, okay, cargo. We've got 10 fuel. I don't know if that's a good amount or not. Uh, Deanna did say there was going to be a lot to this game. Uh, <laughs> that is, by no stretch of the imagination, a short. Okay, so we got hunger up here. We've got some terror, okay. Uh, engine temperature, hold capacity, hull, okay, all right, officers, cook, surgeon, mascot, we got a mascot, it's a ferret, Oh, I used to have a ferret, I used to have two ferrets, actually, uh, okay, let's see, okay, London, uh, I guess, go, sure, what, you know what, we'll just, we'll just do it, uh, visit the Admiralty's service office. Uh, they'll pay for information from Z-Captains. Find out what and how. Go. Okay. Continue. 
Uh, she's on. Ask if there's anything in particular they need. Well, if we can be assured of your discretion, uh, sure. Uh, this port, speak to our agent there and return. We'll see that you're rewarded. Visit the port below and return to London. You can check the details in your journal at any time. Okay. Uh, ask to speak to a higher authority now. Yeah, okay. Done. Okay. So I guess we can exit out of this. Can we just leave? I'm not sure how to leave. Oh, launch. I see. Okay, well, so... Oh, shoot. How do I... Okay, so journal. Memories. Objective. So objective. Here we go. So this determines how that you win. Uh, life of luxury. I'm not really sure what any of this means. All right, maybe, maybe, maybe we should t buy some fuel. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, flare supplies. What are supplies? Food and equipment. Okay, sure. We'll we'll buy some supplies. We'll go ahead and buy some more fuel. Maybe. Why not? Uh. Oh, okay. So we've got several different shops here. Okay, I I guess we'll just... Well, actually, wait a second. We don't have any weapons. We should probably buy some weapons, right? Sufficients. Naval surplus. Torpedo components. In one of the most striking coincidences of our times, torpedoes are torpedo-shaped. Oh, man. Uh, who would have imagined? Maybe we don't need... Maybe we should buy some flares. So what's in our hold right now? We've got six supplies, ten fuel... Uh, we've got... Oh, okay, so we can use a flare now. Uh, okay. Uh, that's not exactly a weapon. Torpedo nets. We can't really... It doesn't seem... Let's try it. Okay. We just have torpedo components now. So that doesn't really mean that we have torpedoes. <laughs> Okay, let's let's go ahead and sell those. Okay, we've lost money. This is great. All right, you know what? Let's just go ahead and launch. We'll see what this is all about. Uh, so it seems. Oh boy, uh, steering and stuff is a little interesting. All right, so hunger is twelve. Okay, logbook. Discovered Bad Stavener's Abyss. 90 fragments gained. Oh, look at this. There's another ship. Great. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the music down slightly. It's a little, it's a little loud. That seems to be a little bit better. Alright, so... So do we have any sort of map? Oh, we do. Okay. Okay, that that helps out a little bit. This is as fast as we can go as well. And engine temperature. So this must be our fuel gauge. Yes, it is. So I wonder if it's important for us. 
Uh, also, I'm really not even paying attention to the tutorial. We're just kind of going out, you know? We're going out of, out of, you know, yeah. Oh, combat. We've already, what? You've encountered an opponent. The red arc shows the range of your deck gun. Keep the enemy in range while your crew works out a firing solution. This will happen faster if you keep the enemy in your prow light. The deck gun will be highlighted as your crew make progress towards a firing solution. Press space or close the tutorial to continue. Okay. I'm not sure what we're attacking. Is this what we're attacking? Oh, it's attacking! Okay. Well, lucky for us, we are destroying it. Nice. You've destroyed a pirate steam pinnace. Pinnace? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the ship is yours. What will you do with her? Uh, she's a vile old vessel, and these Z's aren't safe. Take what you can and move on. Uh, lean pickings. These uh, penises don't sail far from the, their hidden harbors, but there's something at the back of the hold. You have, finishing, you have finished opening a cache of curiosities. A box full of mystery. Open it. Okay, interesting. Uh, crates! The source of sustenance. The fundamental element of cargo. Go. Uh, okay, crate of supplies. Okay, it seems like we've gotten quite a bit from that haul. That's good. Uh, do we need to repair? Repair ship available if your hull is at 50% or better. Okay, let's go ahead and repair that. Just so that way we're at 100%. Alright, let's get going. We've got 8 fuel remaining. This is a pretty cool game. Okay, I think, I think we're all set. Now, I don't- I still don't know exactly where I'm going. Headlights. Your prow light can be turned on or off. Leaving it on reduces the rate at which you can gain- you gain terror, but makes you more visible to enemies. Well, how do we turn it off? Oh, toggle lights. L. There we go. And I guess terror too? Ah, yes. Okay, so this is- it's almost Lovecraftian, which is pretty cool. I, uh, always love, love the Lovecraft er, Lovecraftian, uh, universe. So this is pretty cool. Oh, what is this? A jelly floor. Is this an enemy? Oh, it, it is! Okay, alright. Fire! Oh boy! Ah! Fire! Okay, alright. Oh no. Ah! Okay, we dodged that attack. We're too good. We're too good. Okay, we've gotta make sure that we're... There it is! Nice. Oh, we're gonna destroy this thing. Nice. Ooh, kind of bloody. I suffered eight damage. All right, let's go and repair. I wonder if that's using supplies or something. Oh, it is. It is using supplies. Okay. Well, that's very cool. Okay, well, I'm understanding. Full power to the engines! Full power! Be beware, your engines will occasionally explode. Oh. Uh, fed the crew. Salt lions. I have no clue where I'm going. Where did we need it to go? Alright, let's... 
Oh no. Pirate frigate. Uh, that's kind of a big one. Uh, okay, let's just... Let's just try to get out of here. So this is also our speed, I see. So I can go down one, just slow us down, to go up one to speed us up. So two is currently our fastest. And these pirates, they want to kind of follow us, which isn't great. So uh, let's see here. Can we, can we look at our journal objectives? Yes, I know I welcome the passenger on board, but I want to know where to go. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe we should head back already? Maybe. Maybe we should. Also, uh, hey, I can imagine that we will have to upgrade our ship and such, so that way we can increase the hull, uh, increase our, our engines and such, uh, but it seems like we're going to have to do a lot of mapping. Oh, actually, this map isn't actually that big. I wonder if that, that'll change. Okay, I'm low on supplies. So yes, we only have two supplies left. So supplies seem to be both food and also uh, to repair stuff, which is kind of interesting. So it is, it is good that we're heading back already. Oh no. You know what, we could take these guys. Prepare ship. Oh, jeez. Boom. Oh, yes. They are, they are screwed now. Perfect. Oh, actually, this is a good way to get us our supplies, isn't it? She's a vile old vessel, and these Zs aren't safe. Take what you can and move on. Uh, you have finished opening a cache of curiosities. Crates, the source of sustenance, the fundamental element of cargo. Uh, you've gained three supplies. Nice. Sweet. So yes, uh, that is one good way of getting supplies. So I guess we could actually like continue moving out, but I, I don't know if that's a good idea. Maybe we should head back. Also, iron 25, pages 26, vials, mirrors, this must be some other stuff. Iron increases damage your attacks do. Interesting. That seems to be like a resource. It's really interesting. I'm not really sure. This is definitely going to take some experimenting with to figure out what this game is all about. Tutorial, you're low on fuel. Buy more before you run out or you will be stranded in the dark. Ah, okay. To visit this port, click the dock button. The dock button. I don't see the dock button. See bats? Sharks. Paws. There must be a dock button soonish. All right, let's go ahead and slow us down. There still does not seem to be a dock button.
Maybe when we approach this light. Oh, it just vanished. Never mind. Oh, oh, E. There we go. Doc. Ah, an inspection by the Ministry of Public Decency. Some things are too illegal for the Customs Service to admit the existence of. The Ministry are here looking for those. Nothing to hide, you shrug. You invite them to search your ship as thoroughly as they would like. Ah, so we're going to have to deal with probably contraband at some point. Okay, so let's go ahead and just, you know, we got nothing to hide so far. We basically just collected some supplies. Uh, you shrug and invite them to search your ship as thoroughly as they would like. They leave scuff marks on the newly scrubbed decks and take great pleasure in tangling the rigging. They find nothing more dangerous than moldy ship's biscuit. Well, that was pretty inconsiderate of them. Uh, okay. Uh, collect messages from the harbor master. All the clatter and song of the deck side. It soothes the soul. Are there messages for you? What's this? Let's see. Something has changed in the neath. Someone wants to sign on. That's all for now. You now have one of those. Another day, a free evening. The Rose Market bustles on Roser's Wharf. Who will be there today? Continue. Ah, oh, okay. Well, it looks like we've got quite more to look at for the next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys like this episode, hit that like button. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, any sort of suggestions, any anything really, uh, leave them in the comments down below. And uh, if you would like to stick around, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would also like to thank the Patreons that still support me on Patreon. And if you too would like to become a Patreon, you can go ahead and do so in the description down below. Thank you all so very much for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.